Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, my name is Marian Gonzalez. Um, I work with Dr. Slayman. I'm nervous. <laughs> Um, oh, okay. And I'm also short. Um, so I just want to say hi to everyone. Um, I'm here to give my testimony to you guys. Um, <laughs> sorry, I need a minute. So um, I'm 23 years old. Um, I have a child. I'm married. Um, but growing up, it wasn't easy. Um, I was raised Catholic, like most Hispanics are. And um, yeah, um, my parents were strict. I couldn't really go out and anything like that. And um, growing up, I was always trying to get close to God. Um, I wanted to do my confirmation, my communion, everything like that. I wanted to do everything according to the Catholics okay. <laughs> okay. and um, is it on? is it on? okay <laughs> so I wanted to do everything according to like the Catholic ways and um, I thought I would never change my religion and uh, I wanted to get confirmed so that I could get married and do everything according to our religion um, we worship the Virgin Mary uh, she was you know before Jesus basically and then you know um, as I was growing up um, I didn't feel right I didn't feel like I should be worshiping the Virgin Mary and I was looking for other ways to get closer to God and I started reading the Bible with Jehovah Witnesses and I was so confused as well because they didn't believe in hell and it was all this other stuff. So I stopped and I was 14 at the time. I was in high school. Um, I was doing good in school and then, I don't know, just something happened. Um, I started hanging out with the wrong friends and, you know, started smoking pot and doing all the kinds of things that you're not supposed to do. Um, I used to ditch school all the time um, don't do that because <laughs> my spelling is bad my grammar is bad um, I'm not very smart but you know the Lord has helped me um, okay sorry I'm nervous um, also um, with the smoking and the hanging out with the wrong people um, I started losing myself. Um, I started drinking as well. Um, and I had an eating disorder as well. Because I thought that being skinny was, you know, the way to be for a woman. And um, I went through a lot in high school. Um, I wasn't, you know, accepted by everyone um, so I thought that you know doing what everyone else was doing was the right way thank you uh, and I just wanted to fit in of course you know that's what high school is all about fitting in with everyone right um, or so I thought and I hated myself I hated everyone around me I was really mean um, I was horrible, actually. Um, I used to cuss a lot. Like, you can't imagine. Um, I used to hang out with all the boys, and I didn't like hanging out with girls because um, I thought I was, I would fit in more with the guys than with the girls. Um, and, you know, just doing all the wrong things. I didn't want a boyfriend or anything like that. I hated the idea of dating, um, but I still did a little stupid stuff that I shouldn't have done. Um, and I got a job at Baskin Robbins when I was in my senior year, and I used that a lot as an excuse to go out and drink some more, 
my life was just basically drinking and drinking and more drinking and smoking and doing everything I wasn't supposed to. Um, and then I met my husband and that was another temptation, of course, another fall. Um, I would tell my parents that I was at work and I would go off with him. Um, yeah. Uh, um, I would tell them that I was at school and I was with him. Everything was just, you know, a big mess. Um, I graduated from high school. I don't know how, but I did. Um, and, you know, um, people always told me about Jesus and I wanted to listen, but I always ignored them. Um, I tried reading the Bible a few times and I thought it was boring and I didn't want anything to do with it. And um, after I got pregnant with my son, um, I stopped drinking, of course, through my whole pregnancy, but right after I had my son, I started drinking again. So I definitely had a drinking problem. Um, and um, I signed up for school because I didn't want to work at Baskin Robbins the rest of my life. And um, I got a job with Dr. Slayman. And he started talking to me about the Bible and Jesus and salvation. And I still didn't want to listen. Um, he would invite me to his church and I didn't want to come. Um, I would make up excuses and, you know, just try to avoid it. But I don't know, something was always telling me that I had to get close to God. And, you know, at night I would cry myself to sleep because I would wonder if I died right now, where am I going to go? And I'm like, I don't want to go to hell. I was always afraid of going to hell. Every night I cried myself to sleep because I did not want to end up in hell, but I didn't want to open the Bible either. I didn't want to get close to Jesus. And, you know, it just, I started reading a little bit and then I was just like, it's still boring. I still don't want to do it. But um, I had other friends also talk to me about the Lord and then Dr. Slayman kept talking to me about the Lord and I just finally gave in, you know, God found me. He just entered my heart and I have not been the same ever since. Um, it's amazing. Uh, I used to hate children actually and now I'm in the children ministries with my church. Um, I have them, like I love the kids now and it's amazing, like, I, I can't believe that I would ever get close to kids, actually. I couldn't even change my son's diaper to begin with, and now I have to change baby's diapers all the time. So it's, it's a blessing. I love kids now, and I don't, know, I, I don't know where I would be without the Lord, honestly. I would probably be out on the streets drinking more, you know, and that deliverance, that freedom that I have now, it's amazing. It's I can't believe there's nothing in this world that can compare to that. It's just truly a blessing to be saved, to be with the Lord, to be living for God. You know, I used to be so, I mean, I'm still really shy, but I couldn't talk to anybody. And right now, like, I take the bus, I don't drive or anything, but, you know, sometimes the Lord puts in my heart to talk to someone that's next to me or to give them a track and to tell them that Jesus loves them. And it's hard for me because I don't talk so much, but I, I do it. I, I, be, I become submissive to the Lord because I know that He's the only way. And He's the only one that's by my side all the time. And He's just understanding of me. He's the only one that loves me a lot like beyond compare more than my parents more than my husband more than, and he's all i need in reality and um sometimes when i get upset i always you know i always go to the bible but my favorite verse in the bible is from proverbs 3 5 and 6 and it says um 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. Um, that's my favorite verse. Um, because every time I'm having trouble and I go back to this verse, you know, who am I to decide what's going to happen in the future? And who am I, you know, whatever God is doing in my life, whatever tr um, troubles I'm going through, they're for a reason. And I shouldn't have to question them. God's throwing them my way because He's going to make me stronger through them. And He's going to strengthen me. He's going to give me the, the ability to get through anything that comes my way. I mean, my husband and I, you know, my husband's not saved. and He's a trouble of its own, you know. Um, it's kind of hard to even get him to listen to me when I'm reading. I try to read the Bible with him, but he just won't have it. So I'm praying and fasting for that, but I know he's going to come to the Lord because the Lord promised me already. And I know that my parents are going to come to the Lord because the Lord has promised me that as well. And um, that's pretty much it.